It's a mindless and a brutal crime and obviously all our thoughts are uh, with his family, his friends and his colleagues. But when I think of the bravery that uh, PC Andrew Harper showed in intercepting uh, those criminals, I think of the risks that the police run every day to keep us safe and that is why we're investing now in 20,000 uh, more police officers on the streets to bring, down, bring crime down uh, across the country. But obviously today our thoughts are very much with uh, PC Andrew Harper and uh, our thoughts with his family and our sympathies for their loss. Will you be asking the Home Secretary look, to look specifically at any points you can make to protect current serving police officers rather than the 20,000 that you're talking about to make them safer in their job if they are facing increased risks? I know that uh, the police are uniquely brave in that they go towards danger rather than uh, away from it uh, to keep us safe and I know obviously whenever a police officer is murdered in the course of their duties there is always a review to see what more we could do to protect uh, our officers. I know that Priti Patel uh, will be doing uh, just that. This is a very rare occurrence. It's an absolute tragedy that a police officer should lose his life in the course of his duties and of, of course we will do everything we can to keep our officers safe but they are there to keep the rest of us safe and that's why uh, we're investing in 20,000 more uh, in the course of the next uh, few years. Just finally Prime Minister, you say it's a very rare occurrence, that's certainly the case but just uh, in the last week there was the uh, incident in East London with a machete do you think that the streets are more dangerous for police officers now than they have been some time? Overall, there's no doubt that crime is coming down, but there's, it's also true, as, as you say, that we are seeing too much violent crime on our streets. And that's why it's so important that we get more police officers out there, but above all, that we back our police and give them the legal support that they need, the backing to do difficult, challenging things like stop and search but also to give them the political cover and protection and support that they require. I'm, I believe passionately in our police. They do an amazing job in keeping us safe, but they need political support at all times.